please reset the calculator's memory before performing any calculations. Now, let's get started. The first step, press Mode. Press 3 for Statistic. Second step, press 2 for Linear Regression. Then you come out with this screen. The third step, you're going to input the X data. The first data, press 1, then equals. Press 2, then equals. Press 5, then equals and continue for the rest of the data. Use the cursor to move to the column Y. Repeat this tab for Y data. Use the delete button if you input the wrong data. Press AC to clear the screen. The most important step, press Shift 1. You will see this screen on your calculator. Depends on the variance of your calculator, which key operation you need to press either 3 or 5 for summation. Any of your choice will lead to the list of summation on the screen. Let's take a look of an example. If I press 2, I'm going to get summation x and press equals and the value is 42. By using your calculator, let's answer the question for a. n equals to 7, summation x equals to 42, summation y equals to 95, Summation of x squared equals to 324. Summation y squared equals to 1409. And summation xy equals to 660. Now let's answer question B. Find coefficient of correlation R correct to 4 decimal places. Press Shift 1 once again. Then, press 5 or 7 depends on the variance of your calculator. Any of your choice will lead to this screen. To find the coefficient of correlation R, press 3. Then, press equals and the answer is 0 0.9694 correct to 4 decimal places. Using the same data, let's find coefficient of B. Press shift, press 1, press 5 or 7, then press 2. Press equals for the value and B is 1.25. Question B, find coefficient of A using formula correct to 4 decimal places. We're going to use the round off value of B. To substitute into the formula and A is 6.0714 correct to 4 decimal places to find coefficient A using calculator press shift 1 press 5 or 7 press 1 then press equals to get the value That's all. Thanks for watching.